हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आर टूडे टॉपिक इज वर्क डन फॉर वेरियस क्वासी स्टैटिक प्रोसेसेस सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक वर्क डन फॉर वेरियस क्वासी स्टैटिक प्रोसेसेस पीडीवी वर्क सो इन दिस कैटेगरी द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रोसेस इज कांस्टेंट प्रेशर प्रोसेस कांस्टेंट प्रेशर प्रोसेस and it is also called isobaric process isobaric process so if we draw a pv diagram for this constant pressure process here i am drawing a pv diagram for a, a constant pressure process here it is vertical side is p pressure and horizontal side we are considering b uh, pressure volume diagram and if we are considering a process which are having two state one is the initial state and sec two is the final state and if we are drawing uh, if we are uh, making the pv diagram for constant pressure so constant pressure means if we are considering the one is the initial state and for constant pressure the final state will be the 2 so the final diagram will be like this because this is a constant pressure process here pressure is constant at at some point and only volume varies here pressure is constant why because the process is constant pressure process so pressure is constant and the volume varies so here this total area if we are considering volume v1 here and v2 here v1 at the initial state and v2 at the final state so this area is showing the total work done if we are denoting this work done as w12 so it will be v1 to v2 p d v so the work done will be p v2 minus v1 so this is the work done for constant pressure process or isobaric process and this total area this hatch area is denoting the work done for constant pressure process second process is constant volume process it is constant volume process or it is also called isochoric process isochoric process so if we draw here the process is constant volume process so if we draw a pv diagram for this it will be here it is p and here it is v so uh, in in constant pressure process the pressure was constant but in constant volume process the volume is uh, volume is constant so if we are considering a process which are having two state the initial state 1 and the final state 2 this is the initial state and this is the final state so the diagram will be like this because here volume is constant and pressure is varying volume does not change but pressure is varying so this type of process is a constant volume process uh, so if we find the work done for constant volume process it will be here volume is constant so it will be p d v so the work done here volume is constant the volume does not change so here dvb will be zero so it will be zero so work done for the constant process uh, constant volume process is zero third process is the process where pv equal to constant if we are taking the product of p and v is equal to constant so if we draw a pv diagram for this process this will be here the p dot v product of p and v is constant so here the curve 
or the line uh, it it will be the curve it will be a curve if we are taking two process uh, two states of the process one is the initial state and another is the final state so this will be in a curve only this will not be in a straight line because here p and v are both are varying only the product of p and v is constant so if we are taking one is the initial position initial state and two is the final state so here at point 1 it will be p1 p has some value at point 1 and at point 2 the p has the value p2 and similar for volume at point 1 it has the value v1 and at point 2 it has value v2 so the area under the curve 1 2 is showing the work done for this particular process this hatched area is showing the work done for this particular process we can write here as pv equal to p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 equal to constant we can write here as p equal to p1 v1 by v so if we even we find out the work done for this process 1 2 w 1 2 it will be v1 to v2 p d v we have p here if we put this uh, equation in p so it will be p1 v1 v1 to v2 1 by v d v this will be the equation and if we simplify this it will be p1 v1 log v2 by v1 and we can write here also p1 by p2 equal to v2 by v1 with, with this equation with the help of this equation we can write here p1 the uh, ratio of p1 by p2 equal to v2 by v1 so we can write here as p1 v1 log p1 by p2 so this is the work done this is the work done for the process where the pv equal to constant another process if we consider where the pv to the power n equal to c the process where pv to the power n equal to c here n is constant we are considering n is constant so Uh, uh, for this process, if similarly, if we consider a uh, uh, process which uh, consists two state, uh, one is the initial state and two is the final state, so we can write this equation as p v to the power n equal to p one v one to the power n for process one for uh, state one and p two v two to the power n equal to constant. We can write here with these two. term p equal to p1 v1 by v to the power n and if we want to find out the work done for this process so this w12 will be v integration of v1 to v2 it will be p1 v1 by v to the power of n dv if we simplify this it will be p1 v1 to the power n we v1 to v2 integration 1 by v to the power n dv so this will be equivalent to p1 p1 v1 v1 to v2 v to the power minus n dv now if we further simplify this this will be equivalent to p1 v1 to the power n divided by 1 minus n and it will be v to the power minus n plus 1 v1 to v2 now if we further simplify this it will be p1 v1 to the power n divided by 1 minus n it is v2 to the power 1 minus n minus v1 to the power 1 minus n if we simplify this equation this will be p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by n minus 
1 and we can write this equation as p1 v1 by n minus 1 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power of n minus 1 by n. This is the work done for the process when p v to the power n equal to c. See if we uh, consider here p v to the power gamma equal to c and the value of gamma here it is c p y c v. So the equation will be equation for work done will be p1 v1 divided by gamma minus 1 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. This is the work done for the process when the p v to the power gamma equal to c. If we draw the PV diagram for this process, so the PV diagram is always, for this process, PV diagram is always depends on the value of N. Here, if we are considering the initial process 1, so for the value when N equal to 0, the curve will be like this, the for value of N. And if we increase the value of N, like uh, when the value of n equal to 1, the curve will be like this. For value of n equal to 2, the curve will be like this and so on. So, we can say this the curve, shape of curve or the work done is always depends on the value of n for this kind of process. This is showing PV to the power n equal to C. This process is showing and for the value of n, if we consider the value of n is infinity, so the curve will be like this. In next lecture, I will discuss about the heat transfer. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures.